Statins are the only lipid-lowering agents that we have medical-proved evidence that they do decrease mortality in patients with coronary artery disease. While they do decrease triglycerides and increase HDL, their main effect is rapid decrease in LDL. The guidelines for using statins goes as follows. They should be given to any patient with coronary artery disease, and of course patients with dyslipidemia, or any patients with 7.5 risk of atherosclerosis. These are the patients that are advised to get statins. They should decrease the lipid levels by 50%, or at least reach 70 mg per deciliter, and failure to do so is known as failure of treatment, in which case we have to add other of these medications, Evolocumab or Ezetimib. Whenever you want to prescribe statins for your patients, you should give them the high-intensity statins, either atrovastatin or rosovastatin. Both of these medications are very potent, which is why they're very effective, but also their side effects can be very severe. If a patient starts having some side effects that they do not tolerate, or if the lipid profile increases too much or there is evidence of myopathy, you should start by lowering the dose of statins and rechecking the patient and rechecking the lipid levels. If this resolves all the symptoms, that's great, but if it doesn't, you should switch to the second class. While it's true that statins' main effect stems from decreasing the LDL, they also increase triglycerides by just a little bit. However, they are so effective that if a patient has high triglyceride levels but normal or maybe just slightly elevated LDLs, we give them statins to decrease the triglyceride levels, even though fibrates are more effective in decreasing triglyceride levels. But if the triglyceride levels are so high in the thousands that it causes pancreatitis or other issues, we can use fibrates instead of statins. So in other words, the first line to decrease LDL levels or triglyceride levels remains statins. Use the link below to get access to the full cardiology medications course. The course includes all heart medications, their mechanism of action, the side effects, and the important notes. With every lecture in the course, you will have the external links referencing the updated guidelines so that you stay up to date and you don't miss anything. You can also test your knowledge by answering the MCQs and the quizzes included in the course. It's an excellent way to stay updated and to remember everything. Thank you for watching.